The top 10 winning products to sell right now in November. Done $8 million in the last 30 days. $1 million in the last 30 days. They're doing $4 million per month. They're doing yeah, $800,000 per month, which again is absolutely ridiculous. This is very repeatable. So what can we learn from this? The are booming right now in the United States, which is pretty key information because every month all these gurus are doing this video and it seems to be what everyone is watching. So clearly you, the audience, wants to find the winning product. It's the biggest problem within the dropshipping space, but no one's giving you the proper tools to solve that. In this video, I'm not gonna be giving you some low AOV gimmicky products that won't work because I guarantee you most of these other videos, the products they're giving you will not work. I could bet my money on it. In this video, I'm gonna break down products that do not work because you need to be aware of that as well so you understand who is telling lies key steps on finding a winning product so you don't need to watch these videos every month and you can actually search for these products yourself so you've learned the method and you can take it and action it and then i'm going to use this method find a product completely live with you explain to you how you can sell it and i'm going to give you an example of a store that is profitable with the product i found Let's get into the video. I've been in the e-com game for over seven years now and I have not been doing YouTube like these other gurus because I actually focused on building e-commerce businesses. I did over $3.4 million in sales and I exited that dropshipping band which has scaled from zero to a massive cash exit. I know what I'm talking about. Let's dive into some of my results of the store I built and scaled. These are the year-to-date results on my store. As you can see, we did 2.7 million pounds, which comes about 3.2, 3.4 million dollars. I haven't done the exact conversion. You can see the conversion rate's low, but this is a high ticket store. Our AOV was like nearly $500 and our biggest month, you can see that massive spike, $400,000 within 30 days. That was Black Friday last year. So look carefully as well, because this business I worked on has scaled exponentially with a gradual increase over time. So if I didn't sell this company a few months ago, we probably would have been hitting $500,000 to $600,000 November, Black Friday, and we were set to do two to three mil this year. So these are the results of my store, so you know and understand I know what I'm talking about. I wanna give you a quick tip before we get into the bulk of the video, and that is I spent seven years learning and the four years when I started, I pretty much made no money in e-commerce. I really elevated my business over the past three years that I built with one key thing, and that was networking. And that was working with people who were better than me because whenever I'd meet someone, they'd always be like, right, you can do it this way. That one little tip, would give me the information to which I could increase my business and make more profit. Networking was the biggest lever. So what I've been working on is I wanted to build a private network, like unseen from anyone else with all the key steps and actionable feedback from like our mentors, our live calls and everything you need. So check the link if you are interested in that. So what are the products that do not work and you need to stay well away from? So this is one of the main tools I'm using right now, Minia. It's basically an ad spy tool. You can look at products and stuff. I'm going to browse through here and I'm going to find some products that people generally promote, uh, these e-com guys that tell you they will work. They won't work and I'll explain why. This LED mask, this was a trending winning product maybe two, two years ago. It's been absolutely saturated. It's not gonna work. I'd say the selling price is overpriced. It's a gimmicky product. There's no longevity to this. So let's say you started this and you had one to two months of profit, which you probably wouldn't anyway. Instantly, loads of other people would start selling it, other dropshippers. There's nothing really can be to be unique about it. There's no returning customers. There's no lifetime value. And I guarantee after one to two months, maybe even three months, the product's just gonna die out. The CPAs of acquisition of ads are gonna go up and up and up. And it doesn't even matter that you've collected any emails or returning customers because no one's gonna be wanting to buy one of these products again. It's a gimmick. Right, this product here, Portable Blender. This is actually a good product. However, I will explain why this wouldn't work. This blew up on TikTok Organic, it blew up on ads, and there's massive competitors in the space such as uh, Blender. You've probably heard of them. Massive competitors in the space, they pretty much have full market share of Facebook, TikTok, Google, all of the ad space. So if you were to launch this, it's just not going to work. It's not a new product. Everyone who's going to buy it has already seen it. Um, and again, it's just saturated and it's a one product store. So when people are coming, they're not looking for other things. There's just one item to buy, which usually the best way to make the most profit is if someone comes on the store, they buy one thing, they buy another thing, and maybe they buy three items. They all purchase it together and you've made way more profit for the price to acquire that customer. Let's do one more product because I want you to be clear of what's not working. And I'm gonna choose something in the tech niche because a lot of people seem to start selling technology products which are absolute trash. 
So I'm gonna show you some examples of that. This is a product that a lot of people start. I don't know who's teaching this sort of stuff, but like this is a uh, really hard to brand. Most new e-com people, they'll probably build a store like this, which is like some, basically it's a wireless charger, it's magnetic, it's hard to brand. It's very saturated and if it does do well, it's not gonna last long. Stay away from like tech niche, probably one of the hardest niches. It's just always saturated and it's really hard to get like good ads, good USPs. So yeah, products like this do not work. Right, so I'm gonna break down the key steps of how you actually find winning products. And that is basically understanding the market and finding what is working now. And using that information and utilizing it and making it different, capitalizing on what's working well. So things to look out for are people advertising products. Is it working? You can simply, has it got a lot of likes? Do you see, keep seeing this ad? Is it popping up continuously? Because that could be an indicator that they're making a lot of money because you don't keep spending money on ads if you're not profitable. The other way you can do it is if you see a trend or you look at Google trends or exploding topics and you can basically see, oh, there's a trend popping up. Like I'll show you exploding topics quickly right now. And go on this, it's pretty much just Google trends, but it basically displays it for you. Let's have a look, let's go on page three. And this is the free version, obviously the paid version is better, but for example, obviously this isn't D to C, but the search volume for online tutor has increased. So if there was an education book, you could sell an education book for online tutors and it fits into that niche, that could be a winning product. Or for example, eardrops, this volume has gone up 100% in the last four years, couple years. A business selling products to do with eardrops or earbuds, this could do well as well. So, or banana ketchup, you wanted to sell banana ketchup, it's on the growth, this could be a product you could sell. So you could catch a trend and sell to that audience because people are looking to buy it. There's intent for purchasing for banana ketchup. Sounds silly, but this is how it works. And then you can look on Google Trends, confirm that. The other way is basically just looking at stores and tracking sales. So you can find some winning stores, track their sales, and if they're performing well, you could do that store as well. But you need to be able to see opportunity. Basically taking something that is performing well, making it better, taking it to a different market, doing better custom content. So that's one little tip I'll give you is how I was able to spend three, over three years in one business, which no one does in dropshipping. We really focus on custom content. We got really high quality content made. No one can compete with it because all the dropshippers that are starting were just stealing images um, from other companies or AliExpress and they were just running basic ads, nothing crazy. Whereas we would promote the products and they would, it would look legit. The company would be real. You'd see real pe people, you'd see real customers using it and it looked professional. That's how we sold it. We gave it like a luxury branding. So custom content really does help and it's how you portray the image. So let's find a winning product together and you can use these two. I'll find a couple and I'll explain why. And then at the end of this video, I'm gonna be give, giving an example store of the winning product and how and why it works. You understand the process of finding product to market to winning. So basically at the moment, the software I'm using is Minia. It's a banging ad spy tool. It's great for product research. Basically finds all the ads. I've actually got a partnership with them. So they've given me a 20% off discount code. So if you are looking to use this, I use this anyway. So I reached out to them. I was like, I wanna work with you guys because I wanna promote products I actually use. Um, and they gave me a 20% off code. So if you are interested, you can use it. So we'll go into ads. Basically, it's best to find winners on Facebook because Facebook is still the number one platform, whether you like it or not. Generally, it's the most consistent and it has got the biggest number of users. So what I'm gonna do for dates, last seen date, because it means it's active. I'm gonna go last two months, so like 60 days or close to, and I'm just gonna set the filters out now. So far for the filters, I've done <clears throat> last 60 days, Shopify platform, obviously, because that's what we're selling on. Languages, English. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do filters by engagement. I'm gonna do comments. So I'm gonna do a map minimum of 10 comments, no, 20 comments in the last 60 days because comments mean something. There are people engaging with it, right? So, which is a good thing. So yeah, so I do minimum 20 comments and shares, I do minimum 10, 10 shares over the last 60 days. Target and audience, I'm gonna do countries, I'm gonna do USA. And that is all, that is all. So these are all supposedly winning products right now. So this is great information. These are ads that are currently running that are performing well because They've got a lot of likes. For example, this ad's been running for five months, got 9,000 likes, <clears throat> 270 comments, loads of shares. This means this ad is performing well. These are the figures of like, this ad's performing well. So clearly this ad is performing well. They've made it very distinguished. You can see the product clearly because they've blacked out the side. And you can see it's in the workshop. The product looks legit, it's handmade. It's in an actual manufacturer in the United States, which fits with the flag. So it looks like a high quality product. And pe if people are looking to buy flags, it's a no-brainer. So this is a winning store. So after scrolling for a bit, you can essentially save products after scrolling looking. And these are all products I've saved. These are brands that have been performing well. This one is pretty cool. So it's a collagen drink. They're doing absolute numbers. So 
if you go onto their website. So it's essentially a collagen creamer. It's basically good for your skin. You drink it, it helps you. But these guys are doing absolute numbers right now. So Mini Aspital has helped me found this product. So this is the other software I use. I'm using dropship.io. This is another one of my favorites, or you can use Shop Hunter, but dropship.io at the moment is proven to be better because I think Shop Hunter are doing some updates right now. But as you can see, this is showing $1 million in the last 30 days. So Minia has achieved finding a good winning product. And this is good information. As well as being able to track the sales, it's pretty valuable information. It's like knowing all the secrets of something that's just doing really well. And then you can take some of these secrets and use it to, to your own advantage. So we can look at their winning products. Green Superfoods, pretty good product that doing half a mil a month. High energy pre-workout. So to be fair, they are selling multiple products. But this collagen creamer, they're doing $27,000 per month. Oh, it's not a new product to be fair. So as I'm looking, obviously this is live, so I'm looking with you. Maybe this isn't a good product because this was launched in 2021 and they're only doing $30,000 per month. But that could also mean <clears throat> there's a massive gap in the market because they're, they're focusing on everything, right? Maybe you could just focus on this and build a whole brand around collagen creamer. So it could actually be good information because $30,000 a month is still good profit. Um, $30,000 per month is like three to $6,000 profit per month, which is still pretty good. So that's the process. Find an ad, check the sales, and let's decide what to do with that information. Let's just look at some of the other products I've found um, and see if it will work as well. So this here, company's doing absolute bits right now. Um, they're smashing it. It's Miss Cozy, they're popping up everywhere. Let's track it on the sales tracker. And again, can we use this information? But this is Minia as well. So this one I'm saying Minia is so good because it can show you winning stores, winning products. Oh, we're already tracking this store actually. Yeah, Miss Cozy, they're doing, yeah, $800,000 per month, which again is absolutely ridiculous. So they're smashing it. They're performing really well. And this is like pajamas. This is very repeatable. So we understand from this, that what can we learn from this? The pajama, like sexy pajamas, are booming right now in the United States, which is pretty key information because you can sell similar but different products and do really well. So let's theoretically design a brand over this information we've found. So here was a cool one. Geez, so Rise Superfoods, this is the one I found. It's a mushroom thing. They're doing absolute crazy numbers. So Rise Superfoods, they're doing $4 million per month, which is absolutely insane. I think it's subscription as well. So this is, let's see, try it, it's a mushroom coffee. This is booming right now, it's a big niche, nootropics. Um, but this ad here is really good. It's a good ad and I think it's working well for a reason. They're marketing people, uh, people's pain points, people's problems. Let's have a look at their ad library. So you can basically do some research into a brand on Facebook, you Google, you search them on Facebook, basically go to their page transparency, you can see all the ads they're running. Free information of looking at what's working for this company. Pretty mad that you can do this, um, super simple trick, but we can look at all their ads. They've got some good marketing angles. So marketing angles is how you sell a product. It's not just like, this is what I mean, there's way more to selling products than just finding a trending product. So look how they're marketing this product. It's basically a mushroom drink. They're marketing it as your morning ritual, getting rid of bloating. These are two different marketing angles. No more inflammation. They're literally running image ads, which means image ads are perform well. They're very easy to recreate. Again, no more bloating. Heal gut inflammation, say goodbye to gut problems. So they're talking about this mushroom drink solves all of these problems. What we know, this store's doing $4 million per month. <clears throat> they're selling a mushroom drink and they've got multiple marketing angles that we can see on Facebook ad library. We use Minia to find the ad in the store. We've used dropship.io to track the sales. What can we do with this information? I'm gonna show you an example store of a completely different market angle for the same product that is working just as well. So we know this product works, mushroom coffee, nootropic. So mushrooms adaptogens are working right now. There is another brand that has taken it differently. They've designed the product and put it into drops and they're selling it more of as lifestyle brand and it's working just as good. Actually, it's working even better. I haven't actually checked up in the store in a while, but they've done $8 million in the last 30 days and they market it's the same product built different and marketed differently. So their full best-selling product is full mushroom service pack, pack. So again, it's mushrooms. They've done $8 million in the last 30 days and I'm gonna go on the website. They have basically put this product into drops and they're selling it as like a biohacker lifestyle. And their advertisements are really good, really natural and performing very well. So this is an example of a competitor store doing the same thing, but different and is successful. Hopefully this video helps. If you want to check and join the private network, click the link below.